Well, well, well. What do we have here? Looks like we got some new akimbos. And not only that, they're akimbo SMGs. The first of its kind. These bad puppies are called the Heather SMGs. They come in an akimbo form that takes up the primary slot, and there's also a single gun variant that takes up the secondary slot. First, let's take a look at the available mods that are unique to the Heather SMG. First off is a unique barrel extension called the Tashina Suppressor. It acts pretty much how you expect any suppressor to perform. And there's also an unfolded stock mod, which increases the stability. As for everything else there is, there's the usual barrel extensions, the custom auto fire and single fire, a gadget, and also a sight that you can equip on the gun. Now, taking a look at the stats on the gun, it doesn't look all that interesting, and it really isn't. Most of the other SMGs have pretty similar stats, so nothing stands out about this gun from the others, at least in my opinion. Of course, that's not why we're here today. We're here because of the primary Akimbo Heathers. Akimbo motherfucking SMGs. However, in reality, these stats are still not that unique, and they're not very much different. So, the base stats of this weapon, it has a magazine of 64, total ammo of 160, rate of fire of 750, damage of 40, accuracy of 52, stability of 44, consume of 25, and threat of 9. Now with the way I've modded it, it does affect the stats a little bit, accuracy and stability mostly. And I also have fully loaded, which is affecting the total ammo. I'm going to be switching my build a little bit later, but for now let's focus on the base stats. Now these stats are highly comparable to the Akimba Burn 99s and the Shimano 88s. The only really big difference being the rate of fire. They have a similar ammo pool, similar damage, accuracy, and even stability. But let me be the first to tell you that they're nothing alike. These SMGs are going to perform way differently than the Akimbo pistols. Now let's take a look at how I've modded these Akimbo SMGs. I have the Tashina Suppressor, Auto Fire, and the Unfolded Stock. I could have put on a gadget to give the gun a bit more stability, but I opted to leave it off for the sake of aesthetic. Now for the build that I wanted to use, let me switch to that. For this build, I really wanted to capitalize on silencer damage, silencer accuracy and stability, and also dodge and crits. And for the build, uh, I'm going to be using the ex-president perk deck. So right now, I'm just going to go over quickly all the skills that I wanted. And if you want to see the skills more in depth, I'll leave a link to the build in the description so you can check it out. And the skills that I really wanted are silent killer, the professional, low blow, sneaky bastard, and akimbo. Now the reason why I have akimbo is because to actually use the akimbo heather SMGs you need to have one of the akimbo skills either using the hitman perk deck or akimbo from the fugitive tree. The same way you do the akimbo pistols. So as we can see when I use this particular build with these weapons and how I've modded it it changes up the stats not that much actually it's still pretty similar but while it doesn't look like much, it definitely has a much better performance on the field, at least to me. So this is the setup that I'm going to be going with. Anyway, we've dabbled enough with the stats, let's take a look at this bad boy in action. So let me start this by saying I love these little guns. They're cool as hell, they sound great, and they're really fun to use. That being said, I don't think I could really call them good weapons. They seem to be more effort than it's worth, what with the trouble of having to get akimbos, as well as adjusting your playstyle heavily to use it effectively. Well, that's not to say they aren't good, but it's definitely not going to be as simple as equipping it and winning every heist. Although, they are different from the other akimbos in the fact that, unlike the pistols, you don't need to invest heavily into the mastermind tree and use a lot of points for all the pistol skills. I mean, you could use the akimbo pistols without pistol skills if you don't think you need it, but having it undeniably makes life easier, so more often than not, you'll want to pick it up. And if you aren't willing to use the Hitman perk deck, that also means that you have to invest heavily into the Fugitive Tree. Because the SMGs only have one skill in the entire game that affects their performance, that means that you're a lot more open to using other setups if you wish to. A big win in my book, since it just means more variety in your setup, both in the weapons and the skills. While I love using the Akimbo pistols, I'm usually pretty miffed that there's really only one setup that you can use for them. The skill that affects the SMG's performance is SMG Specialist from the Ghost Tree, and I would say that this is a pretty necessary skill when using the Akimbo Heathers. 
I forgot to mention that while I was showing off my skills. Reason being is that the reload for the Akimbo SMGs is really slow, and it's pretty painful to use without the extra reload speed. So, picking up the base version of the skill is pretty much a must for me. And it's nice that the skill is actually a tier 3 skill, so it's very easy to acquire no matter what build you're running. As for the ace version of the skill, I would actually say that this is counterproductive to the effectiveness of the Akimbo SMGs. The Heathers already have a rate of fire of 750, and while that's not as fast as some of the other SMGs, it's still pretty damn fast. A quick tap or so of the mouse will make you shoot at least 2-3 to three bullets each time, and when you have two guns, that means with every tap of the mouse, you're spewing out about four to six shots every time. The base damage of the Heathers is enough to kill most of the weaker enemies on Death Wish in a few shots, so having a boost in the fire rate wouldn't really help the gun since you just end up wasting the extra shots anyway. It's very apparent from using this weapon that it's a complete bullet hose. A lot of the SMGs are made this way, and that's the small place that it has amongst the other weapons. Instead of relying on raw power or something, what the SMGs rely on are sheer volume of bullets. These akimbos, of course, are no different, and that's where their effectiveness lies. To me, these akimbo heathers are pretty comparable to a shotgun. Short range, not terribly accurate, but they're great at clearing crowds in close quarters, and they pack quite a punch when they need to. And unlike the shotguns, these SMGs are very good at taking care of bulldozers, since shotguns are often limited by their slower rate of fire, or their lack of a larger magazine required to finish off the bulldozer. I've tried making these akimbos more accurate and stable to see if I can maximize their range, but no matter what I did, it was never really worth the effort in modding them that way, since the range was still pretty pitiful. The accuracy and stability could not compare to the other akimbo pistols, which a fair number of them can be modded to be as accurate as snipers. Besides, I feel it's better to maximize the potential of the akimbo SMGs by building towards their strengths rather than trying to compensate for their weaknesses. As I previously mentioned, what makes these akimbo so effective is their ability to spit out bullets faster than a sprinkler watering a lawn. Because of that, it makes it very adept at killing enemies very fast. However, it is still a relatively weak weapon, so when you encounter specials, you're going to have to shoot a lot more to kill them. Oh, you'll still kill them fast, but sometimes, depending on the situation, you could end up using half of your entire magazine just to kill one taser. One of the biggest problems with this weapon, other than its limited range, is the fact that you will go through ammo faster than Vlad goes through vodka. Even when I had a build using these akimbos with their ammo boost from the skill, as well as fully loaded, both basic and aced, I still found myself running out of ammo on a consistent basis. These weapons will run you dry, and that's just something you kinda have to accept. Of course, this is ignoring the fact that your secondary can pick up the slack, but strictly speaking about the akimbo SMGs, it's very, very difficult to sustain their ammo using these weapons alone. The ammo pickup isn't good enough to compensate for continual use, so making sure your team has plenty of ammo bags is recommended. Another thing that you can do is what you're seeing from this gameplay, which is relying on crits to further your combat effectiveness and in turn help manage your ammo a lot better. By having crits on your build, you'll be able to kill a lot of the enemies with more health much faster, such as bulldozers, tasers, and cloakers. Instead of spewing half of your mag trying to kill one, you potentially cut down the shots needed so that only a few taps of the mouse will kill them. I honestly found the most success with these weapons when using crits, but that limits the weapon setups available to you, so it's really just your decision. While these weapons don't have the greatest concealment, it's not the worst, so it's not too difficult to make it work. I paired crits with Silent Killer and the Professional to lessen the recoil and make the weapons have a little more range when using silencers. Of course, the extra damage is also incredibly welcome, even disregarding the crits on my build. These skills synergize really well with the setup, and I used to make a build like this for other Silent secondary SMGs to make them more useful. So, with this particular setup I have going, with the crits, the silencer skills, and the ex president with Bullseye to keep me alive, I feel like this is another really damn good setup, and I might see myself using it more often in the future. If you guys saw my latest build, the laser gun build, it feels a lot like that. Fast-paced gameplay, shitting out damage like it's nothing, with the only difference really being the weapons you're using. Something that I also tried that kind of works with these weapons is putting on the single fire mod, and using these SMGs kind of like the akimbo pistols. Like I said before, if you were to compare the stats of these SMGs to, let's say, the akimbo Bernadette 9s, you'd actually see that they look incredibly similar. 
So by putting it on single fire, you can kind of replicate the akimbo pistols, albeit with a bit more recoil, since modding it this way tends to lower your stability. However, on the plus side, you don't need the pistol skills in Mastermind for this particular setup to work. Again, just reinforcing the fact that these weapons are a lot more open to interpretation for the builds than the akimbo pistols. All in all, it's definitely a step in the right direction. As of right now, the akimbo heathers are the only akimbo SMGs available, but they're really fun to use, and I hope they consider some of the existing SMGs as potential candidates for future akimbo SMGs. Well, that's all I've got to say about these guns. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay.